Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a pick a pile and we're going to start with a, an urban tarot kind of set up and a kipper card uh, to sort of set the tone of what we're dealing with and do story time with the kitties. Go ahead and intuitively be guided to whichever pile is called to you. I will timestamp in the description box. Okay, you picked pile A. I'm not going to show that just yet. You have the Four of Wands, Completion, and Courthouse 23, which breaks down to a five. Now, the Courthouse usually signifies literal court. Sorry about that, I just saw that. Let's get there. There we go. Much better. Um, literal court um, could also mean just making decisions or a final decision being made. Um, moving forward, forward movement regarding some kind of um, debate, conflict, agreement, something like that. The Four of Wands also hints at agreements and celebration, marriages, unions, so it could be court related in that regard. Some form of accomplishment, happiness, balance. Um, it's something in the tangible. Um, the timing on the Four of Wands is within four days. It could be today, four hours, four minutes, four days. <laughs> it is Aries energy, okay? And it's very fast energy, so. Now, your story time, you have the Six of Wands in reverse. So this is your advice. What makes an alpha cat? Some cats are natural leaders, whether through victory and mating battles or success in claiming territory. Others inspired just by the warmth of their personal charisma. Tokens of admiration are offered to these noble ones and are graciously received. When a cat is worthy of respect, we do not hesitate to give it. All the clans benefit from the presence of such an exemplar. The card is reversed to your advice. Don't let a position of power go to your head. Respect that is given can be easily withdrawn. Others may have already turned on you through jealousy or resentment. Take care now to act with integrity. So whatever this situation is, you won. Sounds like you won. <laughs> and you're having someone that's super butt hurt about it. So be gracious, okay? Mature response. Keep it happy and perfectly balanced as to not upset yourself too, you know? But you have a victory here. All right. All right, at 255, if you've chosen the B pile, you have the Knight of Swords. Sorry about that. And you have number 16 thoughts. Let me write down the timestamp before I forget it. <laughs> All right, the Knight of Swords. You can definitely have some sort of tangible communication, a mature message of communication coming in. Uh, the timing on it's three days, three weeks, something like that, give or take. Could have happened, will happen, might be happening right now. Um, it is represented. This is usually um, a messenger of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and air sign. Someone that is a defender of truth. Um, could also mean that just clarity is coming in or it's on the verge of enlightenment. And it does seem like it has more to do with... Um, an epiphany moment, given that the thoughts card is here. <laughs> and it seems positive, so that's good. 16 breaks down to a 7. So your advice from the kitties, what may be about is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups is any water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. You are entering the territory of the Sea Clan. Their emblem signifies a place where your imagination and emotions may flow freely. The cats you meet here will welcome you and listen to your dreams. Hmm. The way of the sea cats is the way of love. If the card is reversed, something is ebbing away from you, whether it is tangible or simply your own emotional response. Accept it as the natural flow of things. Let your sadness flow as well, trusting that happiness will return in time. If you drew this card for a question, the answer is no. So what I'm getting from this is maybe um, you or someone in your energy is having an epiphany moment that might be a little uh, shocking, changing. Perhaps a dream comes through that upsets them. 
and a premonition that something they weren't expecting. Um, and it could be sad, so it might have to lead them to make a different decision that they weren't really hoping to make, a less than favorable decision. That's what I'm getting from this. Okay. At 520, if you've chosen pile C, you have the sun, you have 25, breaks down to a seven, high honor. Let me write down a timestamp before I forget. <laughs> okay. Divinely guided is what I'm seeing with the sun here. Uh, this is definitely something universally driven, soul driven, higher self driven, right? Sevens usually indicate something good coming. <laughs> something, yes, 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 yes. Um, now, the sun sign could also refer to someone that's antisocial. You know, it's entirely possible. Perhaps a sad clown type. Um, but typically, the sun refers to earthly joy, celebration. And this is definitely hinting at uh, the first pile. So, perhaps. And even a little bit of the second pile, because the sun also indicates some kind of positivity and clarity, a yes answer, and also a sense of playfulness. So you may want to check those two piles out if this resonates. You have the Earth King as your story, your advice from the key cat. So maybe involving an Earth sign, um, a mature masculine energy oriented Earth sign, perhaps. Like his mate, the Earth King works to protect and provide for his family and clan. He is benevolent and warm-hearted, and all those who draw near him feel secure in his presence. Beyond the present generations of cats, he is also aware of past generations, the paws that have walked his territory before him, and the responsibility he bears to those ancestors to keep the peace. This king's kindness generosity and earthly practicality endear him to every cat he meets in his own clan and abroad hmm so maybe this is someone traveling to you or someone from afar <laughs> the cat's advice others count on your practicality and stability take stop of stock of your material well-being to ensure continued prosperity including having enough to share you will find a strong sense of satisfaction and helping others feel secure and safe, whether in the home, the workplace, or the wider community. This definitely feels like this is something good coming in, or perhaps you're the Earth King going to something good that needs you, can be nurtured and loved, and feel secure, and happy, and playful, and celebratory. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Have a good one.